Have you ever heard of the phrase, the trend is your friend, when trading or investing? Sure you have. Of course, most profits are generated when markets are trending, but I have to disagree with this quote. The correct phrase is the trend is your friend if it can be found. If you cannot tell if a market is trending or not, the trend has no use to you. You cannot profit from it. There are many ways that can help you to spot a trend, and one of the best approaches is with Haikanashi candlesticks. So today we'll talk about Haikanashi charts, you'll discover the importance of adding them into your trading arsenal, and you'll learn how to use them correctly and to stay on the right side of the market. Before we continue, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications and leave us a like to show your support. So, Haikanashi is a Japanese technique based on the candlestick theory, but taking it to a higher level for trend determination. Haikan means average and Ashi means pace. Taken together, Haikanashi represents the average pace of prices. A Haikanashi chart looks like the classic candlestick chart, but the method of calculating and plotting the candlesticks on the Haikanashi chart is different from the regular candlestick chart. On the candlestick charts, each candlestick is independent and has no relationship with the previous or the next candlestick. But Haikanashi candlesticks are different and each candlestick is calculated and plotted using some information from the previous candlesticks. The open price in a Haikanashi candlestick is the average of the open and close price of the previous candlestick. The close price in a Haikanashi candlestick is the average of the open, close, high and low prices. The high price in a Haikanashi candlestick is chosen from one of the high, open and close price of which has the highest value. And the low price in a Haikanashi candlestick is chosen from one of the low, open and close price of which has the lowest value. The major difference between Haikanashi and a regular candlestick chart is the way up candles and down candles are formed. In order for an up candle to form on a traditional candlestick chart, the closing price must be above the opening price and a down candle forms when the closing price is below the opening price. In a Haikanashi chart, an up candle forms when the price closes above the midpoint of the prior candle and a down candle forms when the price closes below the midpoint of the prior candle. This important difference is why Haikanashi charts make it easier to spot the current trends. So, candlesticks in a Haikanashi chart are related to each other because the open price of each candlestick is calculated using the previous candlesticks close and open prices. Also, the high and low prices of each candlestick is determined by previous candlestick, so a Haikanashi chart is slower than a candlestick chart and its signals are delayed. They work somehow like a moving average. When reading these candlestick charts, there are a few important things to pay attention to. The size of the candlestick, the relative direction of the candlestick, and even the color of the candlestick, red versus green, can all help traders draw conclusions about what trends may be occurring. The charts themselves can be easily adjusted depending on the desired time frame used by each trader. 5 minute, 15 minute, hourly and daily Haikanashi candlesticks are among the most commonly used. When the market is bullish, Haikanashi candlesticks have big bodies and long upper shadows, but no lower shadow. Pay attention at the big trend in this chart. As you can see, almost all of the candlesticks have big bodies, long upper shadows and no lower shadow. At first glance, the bullish Haikanashi trend looks like a normal Japanese candlestick trend. However, you will notice that the Haikanashi trend is built primarily by bullish candles and is absent of lower candle wicks. When the price is shooting up, the price action creates very little to no lower shadows. When the market is bearish, 
Haikaneshi candlesticks have big bodies and long lower shadows, but no upper shadow. So here is a big downtrend, and as you can see, almost all of the candlesticks have big bodies, long lower shadows, and no upper wicks. This indicates that the declining momentum is very strong. Reversal candlesticks in a Haikaneshi chart look like regular doji candlesticks. They have no or very small bodies, but long upper and lower shadows. The doji, when it appears after a directional move, has a reversal potential and indicates that the price action is stalling and might be poised to start a counter trend move. So, in short, how do you analyze a Haikaneshi chart? It's simple. When prices are trending up, Haikaneshi bars have no lower shadow. When prices are trending down, Haikaneshi bars have no upper shadow. And doji bars with both lower and upper shadows are possible turning points and can also appear during choppy price action. Now, Haikaneshi chart is much smoother looking in terms of price action easier to identify trends and profit from it. But the problem is that Haikaneshi candles do not show true prices. Yes, we derive these candlesticks from true prices, but we need to treat it as more of an indicator than a price chart itself. So that's why it's very important to highlight the pros and the cons of using Haikaneshi. There are a few benefits to the Haikaneshi chart that can be seen immediately. The first is the smoothness. The Haikaneshi chart creates a much smoother flow of price movement without the gaps and choppy movements typical price action can make. Haikaneshi indicator compared to the regular price chart slows down the speed of the market, eliminating unnecessary false signals. Also, it's easy to read trends. The size, direction and the color of the Haikaneshi candlestick will tell you a lot about the trend in a short amount of time. This is extremely valuable for day traders who need to make quick decisions. Another advantage of Haikaneshi is the fact that it will allow you to stay in a trade without being nervous or making any unnecessary moves. Also, the adaptability is another benefit. The trading period of Haikaneshi charts can be easily adjusted to reflect different time periods. Some traders will look at the 15 minute and the daily charts side by side in order to develop a more comprehensive analysis. These charts can also be applied in many different markets including stocks, forex, indexes or various others. However, a Haikaneshi chart has some disadvantages. Every indicator that is based on slowing down the signals does its best on trends only. Haikaneshi smoothed signals don't let you to notice the reversal in time. Any Haikaneshi strategy should take into consideration that lagging indicators not only dismiss useless signals to open the trade, but also provide you with late signal for closing the trade. This is why you will often see the market slowly destroying your profit and later on you will understand that the trend has already changed. In other words, don't rely too much on Haikaneshi when you want to take your profits. Another important drawback is the fact that this indicator does not fit short-term and scalping strategies. I've talked with many traders that used Haikaneshi on the 1 minute and the 5 minute charts, trying to scalp the market and all of them were disappointed. So short-term trading could be inefficient when using Haikaneshi. Developing a Haikaneshi trading strategy is surprisingly easy. These charts rarely contradict other technical indicators, rather they simply amplify the trend to make it easier to identify. When used correctly, Haikaneshi charts are incredibly reliable. If your goal is to catch longer and persistent trends, then using a Haikaneshi chart will help you toward that end. A simple way to use Haikaneshi is to add them to the 4-hour or on the daily chart and apply price action rules. On higher timeframes like the 4-hour or on the daily chart, 
the Heikaneshi trading style puts an emphasis on persistent trends. Small corrections and consolidations are left behind and they are barely visible on the chart. You will notice that when the direction changes on a Heikaneshi graph, the price most likely starts a new move. This helps to distinguish between the potential beginning and the end of a trend. Since chart noise is filtered, you basically trade a naked trend. Heikaneshi charting is very powerful when combined with price action analysis. Look for the emergence of new trends or for the reversal of already existing ones. Look for support and resistance levels and important swing points and keep in mind that this could act as future turning points on the chart. Now if you found value and learned something new, make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification so you don't miss future uploads and leave us a like to show your support. Until next time.